Let me start with you, Senator Omar Hassan, and uh, of course, KTN celebrating one year. Yesterday was exactly one year after KTN News uh, launched a 24 hour station. And maybe just to get your comments on what we've done so far. I think I told them, I've told uh, the editors, you know, I'm not a person who, of plebiscite, I told Joe Gale and a couple of other, uh, other uh, members of the team, Ali Manzu um, uh, and everybody else, that since KDN uh, News started, it's become a primary source of information. Uh, you're, you're, you have an audience out of the soap opera audience that you have captured on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm sorry to say this, but when people are tuning out of some of these soap operas, they all tune into KTN News because you, you, when you don't want to watch these Mexicans and all these others. So you are a flagship with Morning Express. You know you are the first station to start a morning show. Right. It was with Lenis Kai Kai and a few others, the first stations to start. So then others captured that market. Mm -hmm. uh, so what you, what you need to do is to maintain the niche. You are the first independent media house in terms of uh, KTN. You are the first... Uh, uh, morning, you gave us a fast morning menu, and everybody thought morning TV, that's, that's not workable. Right. You're the first 24-hour news station. And uh, sometimes, you know, you give a lot of highlights uh, to events, live events. You come with your, you put up your signal, probably they just cost you the satellite, mm -hmm. and you roll. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people are, feel very elated when some of their um, uh, activities are captured. And you know, Kenya is a very politicized political society right uh, their, their interest is so deeply politics so uh, half the time you're the ones broadcasting something live so people just tune in and just you know so you have captured your niche and then there because of the time you have your, your discussions are deeper mm -hmm. because you see the others were constrained that they have only one hour of bulletin every day right or two hours of bulletin at seven at, and then some bill bill no bill is at four o'clock something like that but you have a whole menu. A whole 24 so, hours to 24 hours. discuss things that matter. Yeah. Thank so you for I your think, support. Uh, you, you have been well also... And, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I was going to say thank you for your support. You've also been very consistent, mm. uh, even coming on the show and sometimes literally just taking a flight to be here from Mombasa. And we appreciate like that. Like last week, uh, somebody saw me here. Then there was a press to, when I arrived at, at, the, the, demonstrations. at, the, at the demonstrations at the law courts, mm. the, one of the lawyers told me, hey, chief, I'm going to private jet. <laughs> because, uh, because, uh, because I was there at about 10. Sure. All right. I, um, I left here at 9 o'clock. I took an aircraft. I landed at 9.45. And you were there. Yeah. All right. William yes. Okech, your comments on KTN News so far. Yes. As it is, most people normally stop with the headlines. But KTN News has been able to take it beyond the headlines. Uh, giving us uh, concise stories, especially having cut a niche in issues of investigatory stories. That is a first, and we encourage you guys to take it up. To Thank the you next very level. much. Ambrose yeah. Weda? I, I think I love the courage and the fineness. The news is done in a very fine manner and very daring news. Daring news uh, during hard times right. when you need to think twice. Those two, daring those and fine. Okay.